Hey guys, this is Kaizen here, and today I'm going to be attempting this fan challenge that was put forward by Elon's Musk. Big thank you to Elon. So that's right guys, today we're going to be building a mob grinder. Hello everybody, this is Kaizen here, and welcome back to another episode here on the FTB Ultimate Reloaded Mod Pack. Oh, look at that, big tree just grew. <laughs> that was good timing. Um, so today what we're going to do, we're going to get into building an automated mob farm. And in order to do that, there's a few things that we're going to need. And uh, they include, let's see, we need a mob duplicator. Um, well, actually, we need one of these mob imprisonment tools as well. And the recipe for that, you can see that we need a gas tier. And the mob duplicator, where it is, uh, where it is, <laughs> where is it, I meant to say. Here we go, we need magma cream, we need nether wart. So, we're doing a trip to the nether, guys. That's going to be the start of this episode, is us going through the nether, trying to find a fortress for the nether wart. Because um, actually, although I didn't check this, uh, the nether wart, is there any other way to get it? Um, yeah, not with stuff we've got at the moment. It's still going to be the best way for us to get it is going to be uh, to just go to a fortress and find it. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start by enchanting a sword and seeing what we can get. Oh, that's already good. Sharpness 4. I'll take that. I was hoping for looting, but Sharpness 4 is good. Definitely want a good sword. You guys saw what happened last time we went to the nether. Uh, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> so yeah, basically that's going to be the plan. And once we've got uh, our gas tier and our nether wart, we can come back in. Now incidentally, this is turned off because it's too close to the ground. So when I'm up in my base I hear it and the portal noise just annoys me so let's go back into the nether and hopefully this time it'll be a bit more enjoyable alrighty here we are back in the nether now I haven't done much exploring in the nether yet um, so the good thing is I do have my portal waypointed which is very useful for when I'm having to try to get back here and also having a mini map kind of helps we can kind of see how the land pans out so I think I'm just gonna run off in this direction um, if I see any gas, then I will try to kill them above land so that I can collect their tears if they do indeed drop one. Um, and I guess we'll go up that way. And beyond that, we're just looking for a nether fortress. Well, here we are, guys. As you can see, I'm at a nether fortress. And the good news, if I can find my portal, there we go. It's only about 300 blocks away. So I got very lucky, actually, that it's just here. Um, now, whilst I've been going along, I have been collecting some ores. We do have our quarry set up, as you saw in the last episode. So it's also mining for us. Um, but these ores, you know, uh, gold and emerald, and if I saw diamond as well, are still worth getting, I would say, because obviously you do get such a good yield from the nether ores so i thought we'd explore this together and the first thing i want to do is get this guy oh yeah Let's see if we can get some wither skeleton skulls that would be pretty awesome um although obviously very unlikely oh oh no did i no oh, no don't don't tell me i hit a pigman again oh my goodness i was sure i wasn't hitting him did i yeah he's coming okay let's run away i really should have brought more food as well oh and there's pigman down here um <laughs> do you know i'm just jinxed in this series with the nether there's a whole gang of them. Are they angry at me? No, they're cool, but if I hit them around here, then they'll be angry at me. How do I get myself into this? <laughs> it's the kind of stuff. Twice now in this... Oh, is that diamond? Oh, I want that. Um, but I don't want to die. Diamonds are great, but uh, I don't want to die for them. Well, I was hoping we'd explore that fortress together, um, then and there, but now I might need to kind of go and take care of things a little bit here and kill a few pigmen before I'm able to actually do that. <laughs> so, yeah, and now I'm stuck in soul sand. Which, where's a good place to go? Let's go back towards the fortress. And, uh, yeah, that's that's probably the best thing to do. Um, trying to do it without dying or taking too much damage. Okay, so, yeah, maybe uh, attacking that with the skeleton wasn't such a good idea. Although, you know, it would have been fine if that... Oh, no, there's a gas now. Oh, what? <laughs> no, where is it? I need, I need to kill it. All right, let's get this dude. Um... Okay, we're reasonably safe. Now let's try and get the gas. Where did it go? Has he gone up that way? Must have done. The pigments seem okay. Oh, there it is. Alright, how good's my shot here? Oh, it's brilliant. I am like Robin Hood. Oh no, don't hit a zombie pig. Alright, let's, <laughs> let's get out of here. Maybe we can... Maybe we'll find another gas. <laughs> that one. That's not a good gas, you know? Um, okay. Alright, I think we're okay for a second. Let's eat. I actually want to kill that as well, that magma, um, because we're going to need some magma cream. I only have one, and I need two. So I need one magma cream, if possible. Um, okay, he didn't drop one. Well, it looks like a decent-sized fortress, at least, and no zombie pigmen in this area are attacking me. It looks like I got lucky, and only a couple got aggroed at me. So I will take that, because uh, last time, as you guys saw, it was a lot worse. <laughs> uh, oh, more diamond. Is it? Oh, no, tin. Tin is such a trickster. 
Every time I see tin in the nether, I think it's diamond. Oh, blazers. Um, is this, this is a dead end. We need to get... We're, we're not properly in the fortress yet, are we? We need to get down basically where these blazes are, but without dying. Um, okay, let's let's chill. <laughs> let's just take a minute here. Because um, I need to find the nether warp farm, right? So, yeah, let's, let's go up this way. I mean, this is you know, dangerous, but, uh, you know... As you can see, I'm pro at avoiding the blaze fireballs, so we're going to be absolutely fine. All right, let's run. Here we go. Is this this is a way in by the looks of it to the rest of the fortress? Okay, guys, I'm in hot pursuit of a gas. <laughs> there it is, and if I can just kill it above the land here, then we might have a chance. There we go. All right, did it drop a tear? Please, it didn't drop anything, did it? Other than experience? Oh. I don't think it dropped anything. <laughs> but there is another one. Let's go. Let's go while it's still here. Is this somewhere above land? Looks like it. Yep. Or maybe not. Uh, here it is. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. There's a gas tier, right? Yeah. Alrighty. That's awesome. That's what we wanted. So that's... We're almost there. Just need a magma cream. Um, incidentally, that is the first gas... Well, the first two gas that I fought. Is that emerald? Yeah. Okay. Sphalerite looks quite similar. Uh, so you always got to check. All right, there we go. Yeah, so um, we killed two gas while we're here, and uh, one of them dropped a gas tier. So I'm happy with that. That's awesome. Uh, these are the exploding bats I mentioned last time. I'll see if I can get one of them to do it without killing me. If I hit it, it'll... It'll... Um, oh. oh, there we go. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Where did it, I don't know where it blew up, but it did definitely blow up. You guys heard that. Um, oh, I'm, I'm low on health. I should I should eat. I think I might need to do a little uh, reconnaissance mission back to base. Um, and then uh, and, and eat some food because I don't have much on me. But yeah, so those bats, I told you they explode. <laughs> oh no, I'm hurting myself again. Alright, definitely got to get back in one piece. That's Valorite, by the way. It looks kind of like emeralds, right? Um, I guess I could probably walk around to my portal. I'll figure that out um, in just a second. So yeah, thought I'd show you the, uh, the awesome gas fight there. <laughs> and uh, now we'll head back and I'll try and get some magma cream at some stage. And then once I do, we'll start making that mob farm. Okay guys, here we are. We're back from the nether and I have made up everything that we need. Um, but one of the machines has been put over here. And that is this thing, the Mob Crusher, with this very elegant design. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, this is just temporary. I'll explain what's going on. So we've got the Industrial Foregoing Manual, which is the whole mod that we're using to create this uh, mob farm in this episode. Now, if we go here to the Mob Interaction section, you'll see the Mob Duplicator, which is basically, you know, a spawner uh, once it's made. Um, but it needs power and it also needs essence, and that's the key here. And obviously the Mob Imprisonment Tool. Um, which basically, actually, we've got the mob imprisonment tool here. You see, if you go to any mob and just right-click, you pick it up, right-click again, you put it down. So this means that you can literally go up to any mob, gas, wither, skeletons, withers, um, and you can duplicate them. So obviously, some super, super cool stuff you can do with that in the future. But before we get to that stage, we need the essence. So, uh, mob crusher, here we go. It says here, it will collect the dropped items and it will also transform the experience forms into essence. So there we go. Now, it says here about having the adult filter means it will only kill adult mobs. So, what I'm going to do in a second is breed these guys. Let's just uh, stand up here. It's pretty busy. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty busy place. But we're going to breed them and then we're going to let this thing do its job and kill them to start collecting essence from them. So, fun fact, you can collect essence from passive mobs as well. It doesn't have to be hostile. Um, not really a fun fact, just a little tip, I guess. <laughs> um, so we've got some wheat growing down there, but I think actually, yeah, we do have some in here. So uh, that'll be enough for now because I just I don't need this uh, mob farm to be very big, so I can just breed a few of them, get that going on. Uh, and we're going to power this thing with a pitiful generator. So let's put that back there and get that generating, uh, doing what it does best from wood because obviously we just have crazy amounts of wood. And here we go. This is starting to store up some energy. So that's where it will store the essence, which we can get out with things like buckets. So that's good. So I think we're about ready to go. I just need to breed as many of these as I can first. Um, and actually, oh no. Okay, falling in here, bad idea. Um, because it's just so busy. There is a fence here somewhere. There we go. If I can, I'm going to lose a cow or two maybe. Get back in there. Oh, there he goes. What's this guy doing? How did you get up there? Go back and join the rest. Thank you. Um, so now that I've done all that, what I'm thinking, if I actually just go grab one wheat from my farm very quickly, this might come in handy to kind of lure them over to the crusher. Because I don't know if they're just going to kind of go there on their own enough or not. We'll see. 
So everything is in place, I think. Okay, yes, I believe so. Just wanted to double check that. So let's now come over here. We have our axe and let's do that. Oh, hang on a second. That machine is facing the wrong way. Um, okay, so does industrial four going? Let's have a look. Have any kind of wrench or something like that? It doesn't seem like it does. What we might be able to use is... Um, is this... Mm, probably not that. Probably what we need. Do we have any bronze in here? Uh, yes, we do. Okay, good. Didn't realize I had that much, but okay. I think a wrench might work. Let's just try this. So... Let's go back up to where we were. See if we can turn that around. Um, oh, there we go. So you see there, the baby's not getting killed. This guy is. And if I stand here with my wheat, I'm hoping to speed up this whole process. I know this is cruel. <laughs> this is animal cruelty at its absolute finest. But this way, the cows are all trying to get to me. And the adult ones are dying. And their essence is being collected. Um... So that's, although, if I'm getting, no essence has been created, because I'm getting experience, so I was worried that maybe that's going to prevent quite so much essence being created, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll just have to see with that. Um, I think for now it's going to work just fine, uh, and they are dying, so that's good. So, um, yeah, pretty cool, it's working. Um, it's getting a little bit jammed, but we would kind of expect that, I suppose. We're also going to be able to get a ton of meat and leather out of this, so that's awesome. And uh, there's a lot stored up in here. There's a lot on the floor there as well. So here we go. 2,320 millibuckets of uh, essence so far. That's pretty good. Just a few left to kill. If we do a bit of scooching around here. Here we go. Two more. One at a time. Hit you away. See your friend. Oh, there we go. Just you now. Hit you away. You can come back. No, you didn't want to come back. All right. You know what? We've probably got enough. Um, that'll do. So we have some essence. Aha. Uh, let's get out of here for a second. And build that back up. So that was just to stop any cows from escaping. Uh, if we get rid of that one though, then we'll have access to this wonderful machine. So that is pretty cool. We have the essence ready to go. Um, so if you start a mob farm early in this game, that's one of the advantages. That when it comes to needing essence, you'll be able to get it. For now, I'm going to store this stuff in here if I can. Oh, I can. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll take it all out and store it elsewhere. Um, now, then we'll get into building the mob farm. Let's get rid of that. Alrighty. All good. So let's get over to where we're going to be building the mob farm. Now, I did a bit of building work here. Um, you can see here I've added a bit of a bridge over there and a little thing here. So this is connecting up to our house. Out the back now, we have this little bridge that goes up here. So I've got a few ideas in the future um, as to what I can use this for with building things. Oh, I started a bit of a cherry farm, a cherry tree farm over there as well. Um, they're a good food source, but they're also quite useful for other things, which we'll get into later on in the pack, things like bees. So uh, that's why they're there. But down here is where we're going to get into building this thing. So I've got plenty of cool materials here, um, and I have a rough idea as to how I want to build it. So if we come in here, this is going to be like the center of the farm. So we'll build that about there. And then I think we want to go one, two, three, four, and on the fifth one, place that. Uh, one, two, three, four, and on the fifth one, place that. So basically, from block to block, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay? So if we do that this way as well, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. There we go. Fill in the kind of gaps here. So we're going to raise it off the floor because I thought that might look cool. Um, just need a little bit of space here around this, like so. And then the base is going to be uh, needing to be solid, right? So some stonework, uh, I think, is what we'll use there. If I go get my chisel, that'll be quite useful. And we can make it better than just the normal stone that way. Um, but it needs to be solid so the mobs can spawn. But everything around it, I figured we would do as glass. I thought that might be quite nice. So let's do that. And let's actually uh, go to here. Chisel, where are you? There you are. Add that in, make up a couple more of those, because we definitely need them. So, I should probably start making uh, the diamond ones, actually, but never mind. Okay, so back through here is going to be where our farm goes. And let's get some more iron bars to place down there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, we'll get this red glass. I thought that might be cool as, like, a little rim around the bottom and top, if we have enough of it. Now, at the moment, I don't have silk touch, so that's a bit annoying, so we have to just uh, kill that one, but there we go. And then let's get this going on. 
I think this looks quite nice. I don't think I've ever built with this type of material before. This Chinese glass, they call it. So that's kind of uh, kind of exciting, right? <laughs> oh, hang on. We did something wrong. I think it would have been this one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, okay. It was, it was one more that way. All right, we can do that. At least I figured that out. There we go. Get rid of you. And... Then do the same over here. Just thought doing it as a big square would be nice. It's not necessary, but, you know, works well enough. Do that. And we'll probably want to take out this around the edge. Like that. Now, the indoor bit. This is be where the stone starts. Um, now, do I want to do it as half slabs, potentially? You know what? That could look cool, actually. Um, so let's look to do that. Make up a load of these stone slabs. Um, and the mobs will spawn on them because I'll put them at the right height still. Uh, let's just dig underneath here. There we go. And get that going on. So, yeah, as long as they're up on this height, not a problem. And the mobs can spawn still. So you get the idea. This is going to be how we do this. Um, although I want to kind of end in the middle so I can get back out. And then the mob farm will be up and running. And at the moment, it will be just for one type of mob. Um, but in the future, we could kind of have maybe an interchangeable system or certainly make the system a bit better uh, so that we can get all different mobs and all their drops collected automatically, which would be pretty awesome, to be honest. One of the nice things that you can do with modded, I would say. So let's, uh, we need a tunnel out of here. And I'll finish the, uh, the decor stuff off camera, probably. But we can just build the general concept on camera. Um, there we go. <laughs> a little step up for us there. Uh, now, the walls, I thought this dungeon glass would be perfect for the walls. So let's get this going on. And uh, let's go probably about five high with that. Now, I'll do the most of this building off camera. Just want to give you guys a little look at how we're going to do this and what it will look like, basically. So we'll go around like this and then another three up, I suppose. Uh, we'll have to do a two and then a one. So yeah, this will be our mob farm. Um, and then I'm going to need to enclose it in an area to prevent light from getting to it. Um, I think that's going to be necessary. I'm not 100%. Yeah, that looks kind of cool, but I think the corners should be the red glass, right? If we come back here and have another look at this, I think that'll look better. Okay, let me go and uh, take care of that. And then I'll bring you guys back in when we're ready to actually set up the process of the mob farm. Okay, guys, so the mob spawner crusher QB thingy <laughs> um, needs a better name, uh, but also it should now be ready for testing. Um, so if we get in here, we can kind of have a look at what's going on. Now, not sure how this bit's going to pan out. We'll have to see. Uh, kind of figuring this out as we go along. Obviously, it was a bit of a fan challenge, so I thought I'd just kind of go with it. Uh, so we've got water at the back, bringing them down to here, and then water bringing them over to here. So we'll just see how that goes. A couple of issues I can foresee is mobs getting caught on these things uh, and this machine here as well. But this will, these machines will probably go soon, and I'll probably wire the power in and kind of set up the automation of it. Um, and obviously it needs essence, which we'll get from the crusher down here, and that can feed into there. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, the only other thing is, let's have a look here. The pitfall fuel generator is underneath here powering at the moment our crusher. Again, that may change. Now, we do have another crusher over there for the cows. So if we need a second one, I could always put a second one in there and uh, we'll see what happens. For now, um, I've got a skeleton trapped in here. So let's get that in there. Right, they do spawn during the day. That's excellent because they very quickly fall into the water, which will then stop them from burning. So they're not going to die prematurely and okay so one of them died one of them's getting stuck there um yeah okay but basically now we have no way of accessing the crusher let's just get rid of that for a second see what's happening we're getting some essence that's cool but we're not getting the mob drops are we uh like we were with the cows so i'm not entirely sure why that is um yeah you would think when it kills them it would just take their drops Okay, you're in the way. Let's just get rid of you. Oh, got that guy. Right. Is this picking up any drops or not? No. Okay, not 100% why that is. Um, hmm. Okay, well, the system kind of works in that it's at least producing some, some essence and the mobs are spawning. So, yeah, and they spawn in good numbers as well, don't they? You can see here, we're getting quite a lot of them. The drop side of things is an easy fix in that I can just use hoppers. I'm just not sure why. Oh, there it is. It's now picking them up. So it seems to pick some of them up and not others. 
So some of the drops are going to get lost at the moment. Which, you know, for automated systems, I often find that you probably don't need to have it 100% efficient on a survival. You know, this isn't a tutorial on, like, the best possible way you could do this. It's just more of a, you know, having a nice-looking mob grinder sort of thing going on. But it works, you know. It, it, it's doing its job. Why it's not picking up all the drops is beyond me. Um, but it is doing what it's supposed to do at least. So now we can think about whether we want to change that so it's not a skeleton but maybe something else um, or what we want to do with that. But, oh, blimey, that was a good shot. Um, so yeah, it looks cool though. I like the way that it's kind of panned out. Um, and the fact that I don't have to encase it because it, mobs will still spawn during the day uh, is pretty awesome as well. So now the only question is how do we fully automate it in terms of power and in terms of the mob drops and essence and stuff. And also, do we want to change the mobs around? But I think for now, I'll leave that there because that's pretty okay. Like, it, it works, it does what it's supposed to do, and I'm happy enough with that. So, this was the first of uh, fan challenges. Um, I have mentioned them before. If you guys would like to suggest a fan challenge, please leave me a comment and let me know what the challenge is. And a big thank you again to Elon's Musk who suggested the challenge for today's episode. So thank you to you, Elon. Hopefully you're happy with the outcome of that. I know it's not 100% finished, but um, it's a basic setup that we can then expand on. So that's pretty cool. So guys, uh, that's going to be about it for today. If you like the idea of fan challenges or you just enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. And as I say, do comment the fan challenge if you would like to uh, enter your own. But that's going to be about it for today, guys. If you do want to follow along with this series, and if you saw on my channel recently, I have an upcoming new series series on the Mindful SMP, which I'm very excited about. I really can't wait to get started on that. It's going to be pretty epic. If you want to follow that series or this one, please do subscribe and I will be making regular content on both. But for now, guys, that's going to be it for today. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.